Hello, and welcome back to day two of the Inspire Tight Sew Along. Today, we're going to be adding the inserts to our leggings. If you've chosen to do a version with no side seam or a version um, where there's just solid front and back legs and there's no inserts, then you kind of get to skip over today um, or rush ahead as you want to, maybe even cut out one of the other leggings patterns. Um, but today, I'm gonna focus on those inserts. So I'm gonna bring you down to my cutting table and show you how we're going to attach them. Before we get started, you wanna make sure that you have the top of both your front and your back inserts, or just one or the other, if you're only using one or the other, um, labeled. I labeled mine by sticking a little pin in the top, um, but it's gonna make a really big difference. Um, the other thing that you want to do, um, make sure that you have your sewing machine or your serger handy um, and threaded with the right color. I use my serger, but you could definitely use a stretch stitch or a lightning bolt stitch on your sewing machine if you don't have access to a serger. Um, and then I often like to do a reverse cover stitch on my leggings. I may or may not do that here, um, but there's a great tutorial for that in a video for um, how to do the reverse cover stitch on my Super G Sew Along. So I'll link that on my blog post for today in case you're curious about how I do that with my cover stitch machine, but that's totally optional. You could just sew them in with a regular sewing machine and um, they would work just fine. So I'm gonna take you down to the cutting table now and show you how to um, start sewing in those inserts. So you're going to want to start by grabbing your back pieces if you're adding the back insert. Um, if you're adding the back of the knee insert, then you would add it now to both legs, um, similarly to the way that I'm doing the back angled insert. Um, now the back angled inserts I think are kind of tricky because if you get the positioning wrong, um, your leg is going to look all funky. So I'm showing you this one all pinned in so that you can kind of see that it should make a continuous line here and a pretty straight line on the side of the leg. So this is the inner leg and then this is the outer leg seam. So I've marked my top of my um, insert piece and that's going to be helpful. Um, but I'm also going to show you with the pattern pieces how that needs to go. And you can also follow the illustration in your um, pattern but I just find it's really helpful. This is the top here. So I'm pretending that these are my pieces and I put them right sides together. And I'm going to do this so that you can see that when I flip it down, again, it's making a continuous line that looks about right. It's more than the seam allowance there, but you can kind of see how that would work, okay? Um, what you don't want is you don't want to get this flipped over like this and you have this big angle here, because then when you flip it down, it's gonna kind of cut in too much and this is gonna jut out. So you don't want that, you want it to be flipped like this. And when in doubt, pin it out. Just go ahead and stick some pins in there with your inserts and your fabric and flip it down and see how it looks. Because I can tell you from experience that ripping out serger stitching, especially on dark fabric, um, or even top stitching, is no fun even though this is a small seam it's a critical one so you're going to repeat that for both back pieces and you're going to attach once you've got this sewn you're going to attach the um, lower back in the same way okay so you would just pin them you know right sides together and then sew it on okay and top stitch it if you want to so i'm going to go ahead and do that for both of my back legs and then i'll come back um, and show you how we do the front legs now I've got my front piece and I've got my upper front here and this is a model of my insert piece um, and you can see again you want them to end up like this okay so you would be sewing it right sides together it would look like this okay because then when you flip it down it's gonna have the right angles if you flip that over and you sewed it this way, let me see if I'm doing it right. This way, I mean, if you flipped it over and you sewed it this way, then you can see how this side's gonna jut out at the wrong angle and this side's gonna come in too far. So what I find helpful is taking that insert pattern piece and then finding, making sure that I've got my pin 
on the right side of my fabric, which it's not. Put it on the right side. So then saying, okay, how does this match up to here? Okay, it goes like that. Okay, I know that I want it to end up like that. I don't want it to end up like that. So if I need that to do that, then I might need my other pattern piece. So I'm gonna grab that. Again, make sure that it's marked on the right side of the fabric. And say, okay, there's that. Now, this is the one I want. I can flip it over right sides together. And again, if I clip it, I can find enough clips here. I always end up with a huge pile over at my serger. If I clip it and fold it down, then it's gonna have the right angles. And then I'm going to attach my lower front to that piece just the way that you did for your lower back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, for both of my front pieces. And then um, I'll come back and show you what that looks like with both the front and the back assembled. And that will be where we're gonna stop for today. So at this point, you should have two front pieces. If, with the um, inserts attached, so there's my second one, and two back pieces with the inserts attached. Okay, so that's where we're going to stop for today. Um, if you lay a front piece on a back piece, you will notice that those inserts line up at exactly the same place. Let me find the right front piece here. Um, so if I lay my front on top of my back, right sides together, those inserts should line up at the same place so that when you open up, when someone looks around your leg, if you're doing both of them, they're essentially going to be a continuous insert piece that goes around. Okay, so just kind of showing you how that works. I think it's pretty cool. It does take a little basting, so we'll work on that tomorrow just to make sure that those end up lining up perfectly. Um, if you haven't already and you want to check out my reverse cover stitch video, um, I will link that in the blog post below. But otherwise, make sure to post your progress on your leggings, whether it's the Inspires or another pattern. Um, and tomorrow we'll go ahead and we'll assemble the fronts and the backs. Um, or I'm sorry, we'll go ahead and work on the gusset. And then the day after that, we'll assemble the fronts and the backs and finish them up. So um, the Inspires use a triangular gusset and um, it's my favorite type of gusset. So I'm looking forward to showing that to you tomorrow. But for now, happy sewing.